What is going on year 11s, Mr. Herman here and this tutorial is going to help you with question 2 from exercise 6a where you need to use a calculator in order to plot these graphs here uh, into a window and then also generate a table of values based on the domain that it's asking for. We'll get to what domain means in a second. First thing you're going to need to do is make sure that you have your calculator readily available, turn it on, and when you get into the menu section, you are going to click on this uh, button here called Graphs and Table. We did use this before in the previous topic. Um, this will be the button that you will need to use in order to plot the graph. So the first graph here is y is equal to 4 plus x. And at the bottom here, it's got two different um, different statements and these statements are going to help determine what type of values you need in your table. Now, mathematicians, uh, we like to look for shortcuts in any way possible through our terminology. So if this terminology looks a little bit confusing, <clears throat> it's quite simple, but for now, what we're going to do is we're going to put y equals 4 plus x into our calculator. So we're in graphs and table right now. Uh, you want to make sure that everything is all clear, okay? Um, and then you're not going to put in y equals. You're just going to put in the four plus x because there's already a y equals right here, okay? So you just don't put. Uh, I have seen some people do this before. They have y one equals y equals four plus x. Don't do that. Okay? Just leave it as four plus x. Press execute. Um, a tick should pop up here to indicate that it's accepted the equation. And now we are going to graph this. Yeah. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to press this button here. And this is to graph any um, any equations that have been put into the window. In my case, <clears throat> mine uh, appears to have a like there. Now, depending on what you did previously, uh, or what the default setting is on the calculator, you not might be able to see this information. So what we need to do for this is we're going to click on the button Zoom, then we're going to go to the button Quick, and we're going to choose Quick Standard. Okay, this is just telling the calculator, hey, um, where do you want me to graph? Uh, I want you to graph the most standard line for the view and standard just necessarily means where it hits the X axis and where it hits the Y axis. Okay. Now that we've got this, that is our graph, yippee, we want to get a, a table of solutions and this is where this terminology right here uh, comes into play. This is saying I want you to graph x values, different x values that vary from negative 5 to positive 5. And I also want you to include these numbers negative 5 and positive 5. If this was just an arrow without that little line underneath it, if it was just an arrow pointing to the left, that means it wants to include numbers in between negative 5 to positive 5, and so no line here as well they don't want you to include those numbers. All right, but in this case, because that line is there, this just means less than or equals to, okay? <clears throat> uh, and that equals to is specific for negative five and specific for positive five. So we're gonna go into our calculator and we're gonna click this button right here. All right? And this is gonna determine which set of X values which we need. This when we're talking about the different x values, this is called a domain. When we're talking about the domain, we're talking about um, which x values would uh, uh, are x values of interest. Sorry, that took a while to get out. Okay, technically, our domain keeps going from negative to infinity and positive infinity. If we were to sketch this as a continuous line, but the specific domain. Now, the specific x values we want, we're talking about is from negative 5 to positive 5. I've already got this readily available because I've already had some conversations with some of you guys in regards to this. Um, your step is always going to be 1. You're going to press OK. 
Now nothing will happen at this point because what we have done is just told the calculator to do it from negative 5 to positive 5. We now want to display this to a table using this button here. When you click on this, this will show you the values from negative 5 and when you scroll down all the way to positive 5. I'm not going to scroll down, I'm going to press the resize button. Your resize button will be in the middle of your calculator and that way it will pop up all the values. The textbook has made a bit of a boo-boo. Okay. It technically should say that the Y values for this should range from negative 1 to 9 because our smallest value here is negative 1, that is correct, but the largest value is actually 9, it's not 10. So there's a bit of a, bit of a mistake of what it's asking for. Okay? Just focus on what the domain is when you insert into your calculator and this table here is what you're going to insert into your exercise book. Preferably do it horizontally, not vertically. The only reason why it's vertical is because it's a calculator, it's a long screen calculator. But don't display it vertically in your book, do it horizontally because it makes more space in your book. And that's all you have to do for the calculator part. If you have any questions, you know where I am. I will see you in the next video. Bye. Oh yeah, watch your hands and sneeze into your elbow. <laughs> Take care guys.